the Joe Rogan experience. And she's yeah. just she's like fucking a my buddy. I mean, she's like a ratchet <laughs> Chucky, you know. Well, it's the the uncanny valley, That's right? right? She's in the uncanny valley where it's not quite a human. Where I went to Nvidia once. They're a video card. Um, video game, uh, mm-hmm. they, they they make uh, video cards for computers, like really high end graphics cards, yep. and for gamers and stuff like that. And one of the things that they had was, and this was quite a few years ago, they had the state of the art fake CGI person that you could kind of talk to, and it was animated. Yeah, and they were like, we're not quite there. Like we can't do the mouth. Like the tongue, uh, you can't do the tongue nope. correctly. I'll show you, and because the muscles—that's what's so fascinating. Yeah, there it is. This is this is what we looked at. This is exactly the guy that we looked at. And um, is this the video of the show that I did? It's like 2013 face works. You can look it up. Yeah, that's so. Wild. This was the guy, and he's also bald because they they can't do the hair right. Yeah, but of course this was six years ago. Right, but look how close it is. Like look at the skin. That's pretty amazing. Like stubble. I mean, that's like razor burn. Yeah, and also the eyebrows are really good. Yeah, but the it's still bones. uncanny. It's still not quite a person. There's something wrong. But that's video, which is better to duplicate than those wrinkles are good. Yeah. It's it's wild because it does make you realize flaws are what makes something look human. We spend all of our time trying to be without flaws, but that's actually what sells it. Well, what as a woman, like, how do you feel about that? Like that, and we've talked about this before yeah. with 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 guys, guys that use filters on their pictures. It is. I thought you say fillers because guys do that too. They now. do that too. That's weird. Yeah. That's weird. They're both equally weird. Yeah. But there's something particularly disturbing to me about guys who use filters. I mean, I only know one. I'm glad I'm not single. That's all I'm going to say because I, I mm. don't think I don't, you know. But yeah, I mean, it's um, alarming, but, but a lot of guys do it. I mean, guys are also getting fucking calf implants and shit. And guys what? Are, what? Who's getting calf implants? <laughs> I don't think anyone we know, but calf implants are a fucking thing. No, it's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Like yeah, of course. Like Fifteen years ago, yeah. Yeah, I thought that was a joke. I don't believe so. Oh no, I never watched Entourage. Yeah. People get calf implants. Guys are getting facelifts, all kinds of shit. You know. <sighs> I know. Guys are getting lip injections. But what they say... But guys who suck dicks get lip, lip that's, injections. Yes, I would That's imagine. a different thing. I don't know. I, there's, I know guys that wear makeup. <laughs> guys that wear makeup. I mean, there, there are some guys that What's I... What's going on here? Is this a calf, These are calf uh, implant implants. website? Yeah, it's just Google Images for calf Whoa. implants. Yeah. Look at that one in the lower left. But, By the way, you could just run hills, you pussy. <laughs> but when you do this, can you still <laughs> exercise? Like, can you grow oh muscle underneath it? Wow, that guy's calves look very impressive on the right, I do have to say. They, I mean, they they, they changed him. It's shortcuts. Oh, How much of these? Co- oh, those oh, no, those, those look, look so like, fake. Those look like tits that fell down. Those, you know what those look like? Like a, a <laughs> cop, like a athletic cop. Yeah, you, it does. It looks like a like a fencer. Yes. Uh, yeah. Had to keep from getting kicked in the yeah, nuts. Yeah, no, he, he did put, that at the fucking mini mall in yeah, Reseda. That. That's made a mistake. Bad idea. How about that guy down those, there with a the tattoo? Are those bad or good? Right there. Look at this one. That's pretty damn. Realistic. What does it hang on to? It's what I don't understand. Mm. I used to really be into the surgery channel. Well, I mean, it's got to be like, like a tit, silicone. Like a fake yeah, it's tit. silicone or water based or something like that. But how do you mm. live with yourself? I don't know. That feels like a tricky you one. Just do you're probably just trying to get laid and you're sad anyway? <gasps> oh no! Oh, oh, oh look at the scars! No! Woo. Oh, it looks like that's some Pinocchio shit right there. I don't like that. Right. What's the thing on the left? Has it rotted? What are all those veins? Uh, I think you got the implants to take care of that problem. Well, I'm glad my robot's the least so disturbing it looks thing like you've he seen. He has some injuries. Yeah. Like he got bit by wolves. This is why I got him. This is because he got beat. Because he got option. eaten by wolves. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Where They're attacked? They sliced right behind his knee and yeah. just dropped him in. But look well, at his. There was no other option. His legs weren't great. Well, here's the other option. Don't get calf implants. <laughs> and stop running around outside with wolves. Well, go go. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't think you really got bit by wolves. Oh, but that does happen. <laughs> I thought that. But if wolves get you, they usually get you. <laughs> yeah. Get you. It's very uh, coyotes might do that to your calves. Yeah, there's no like margin of error with wolves. Yeah, they just break the bones of your leg with one bite. This guy had an injury because a car accident when he was younger. And uh, his calves wouldn't grow? A l- mm. Yeah, I think a lot of it's, it's reconstructive. No it's just one sentence about it. Oh. Yeah, but a lot of guys get that shit. <sighs> I knew a guy who had pec implants. He was a skinny guy. They're breast implants. Yeah, he got pec <laughs> implants. He got under his, under his meat of his chest to make his chest... Poke, poke forward more. And so is that is that something somebody does because they can't accomplish it naturally or they're just lazy and cutting corners? 
you'd have to ask them. But the reality is there's things – People, some people are ectomorphs and ectomorphs are like really thin people that have an incredibly yeah. hard time gaining weight. Yeah. Their body just doesn't – Metabolism. Yeah. It doesn't grow mass. Yeah. The, their muscles don't grow right. Yeah. Male plastic surgery is a really big thing now. But putting filters on it, I don't know. That feels like a slippery I fucking, fucking love slip. that show, Botched. Love it. Live for and, it. Uh, one, <laughs> Live for it. <laughs> one episode was actually pretty interesting. Where was a guy had been in an injury and he got his calf destroyed or his, uh, his, his breast destroyed, his pec. Yeah. And they had to fix How? it. I don't That's know. Wild. He just he had nothing there. So he had like one that was like here. There was a guy who was a fighter who's a, a high level UFC fighter. His name is Trey Telgman. He fought Vitor Belfort in 1997. He was Vitor Belfort's inaugural fight in the UFC. And we, we didn't know about Vitor when Vitor was 19 years old. And I knew who he was because I was training with Vitor back then. I was, I was a, a white belt at Carlson Gracie's school on Hawthorne in uh, West Hollywood. Mm -hmm. So we knew he was this phenomenal talent, but a lot of people didn't know that he was this incredible boxer. He had this crazy hand speed, and he lit this dude up. But anyway, Trey Telegman was in a car accident when he was a little kid, and uh, he didn't have a peck. Like, his chest was caved in. It's very See if you photograph of Trey Telegman. The guy was a stud, too, and a handsome fella, too. But mm. everything else just super jacked. But he had this crazy peck injury i mean also look at, this. look at that see that oh fuck yeah jesus yeah yeah it looks like someone just like scooped out. well he was a baby i think and he was in a car accident oh, he shit. had a pretty significant injury that would psych me out <laughs> yeah yeah oh, if, if a guy took his clothes off and you saw that like, no i mean i just what mean happened? if that's your opponent you're just like oh fuck right but he um um that's you know. badass. This, there's something hot about it. There's this is this is. <laughs> I think there's something primal of like he's fucking survived some shit. Right. Stick with him. There's something hot about that. Like that dude from the wire with that scar across his totally. face. Totally scars. Right. Any kind of proof of injury, proof that mm. you've been in battle, is attractive to my yeah. That's a weird primal one, right? brain. I hate myself for it. Do you know that the Nazis used to have dueling scars that were very popular across the face? It was a big deal. They would all they would get them on purpose. Like they would get into duels with swords, and they would have dueling scars. And a lot of the Operation Paperclip Nazis that we got from uh, Soviet, where we got from uh, Germany rather, at the end of World War II, when you know NASA took mm -hmm. on a bunch of uh, German scientists, a mm -hmm. lot of them had these horrific dueling scars that they on did their on face. purpose. No, they would get in, in in boarding school and in military school. They would get in fights. With swords, and they would cut each other's faces open. Weren't they on meth and shit too? Weren't that they was on more the, for sure. But that was more the Japanese. That was oh. the kamikazes. The kamikazes is oh. the way they got them to uh, fly into boats and just fucking explode their fucking airplanes. The way they got them to do that was they were methed out of their mind. Jesus Christ, America, <laughs> fuck <laughs> yeah! <laughs> but okay, try to find a picture of uh, Nazi dueling scars. It's crazy because like some guys that were hanging out with Werner von uh, Werner Herzog mm -hmm. rather. Um, no, Werner von Braun. Werner Herzog's yeah. the director. The director, the cocky. Yeah, movie. Werner von Braun, the guy who was the head of NASA when they went to the moon. He mm -hmm. had this these guys that were working with him and these giant scars across their face, huge, like is, like is, foot was it like scars. a was it like a ritual, like to show your pecking order? Yeah, which showed you were a badass oh, that you you had gone works. through. But it was a big thing with the Nazis. And there's some horrific photos of these guys, young kids with huge gaping open wounds. See, here's here's the photos. Holy. Yeah. Go, go, oh, zoom in on, Jesus. Zoom in on the uh, yeah. See, this is a guy. This is right after the dueling cults. That's um, so. I was yeah. just reading an article on this. It said that women found it attractive. Yep. So some guys actually would do it on purpose. Oh yeah. They would have doctors slice off their fucking cheek. Well, look at this guy right here with the goggles. Go to that guy with the goggles. Right, right there. Right there. Yeah. Look at that. <gasps> yeah. He's got two big scars on his face, and they had the goggles so they didn't cut their fucking eyes out. This is before anesthesia. Oh, yeah. See, so he's got a, a plate over his nose to keep his nose intact because he couldn't really stitch that bitch back on. But they would take these huge scars on their cheeks because they would be dueling with real fucking swords, and they would have these practice dueling matches. And then they'd have to stitch them up. So these guys all had these huge scars. By the way, when it comes back to cauliflower ears, a lot of guys did that themselves on purpose. They're stitching them up. <laughs> Woo! Um, a lot of guys um, did that themselves. They to would get smash the their ears. ears. Yeah, they would smash Recently? their ears on. Oh yeah, all the time. Because it makes a lot you of white look belts. Tough. Yeah, a lot of white belts that want to be like badasses. They'd smash their fucking ears.